How's it going guys? It's me Simon and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox One S controller to your PC or laptop. Let's begin. Okay guys, so first step we want to go down to the Windows icon and then to settings which is just below your profile picture. Press that. Go to devices and it should be Bluetooth and other devices. So we want to turn on the Bluetooth, turn that on, and then we want to go to add Bluetooth or other device. And then we choose Bluetooth, mice, keyboards, pens, and other kinds of Bluetooth devices. Yep. Make sure your device is turned on and discoverable. So we take our Xbox controller, turn it on, starts flashing, and then we want to hold the sync button on top of the controller. Wait, here. So I'm holding that while it tries to find it. It should take a few seconds, depending how good your Bluetooth is. So if I let go now, I just wait for it. It's found some unknown devices. Alright, maybe I should hold the sync button a little bit longer. Okay, there we go. So hold on to the sync button for longer. And now it's come up with... Your device would like to pair to the Windows device. Do you want to allow this? Allow. So we've allowed it and the device is undergoing additional setup. Which is here. Pair device connection succeeded. Ah, it says device Xbox wireless controller has completed setup. So it's completed the setup all by itself because it's Windows and Microsoft. So guys, my Xbox wireless controller is connected as you can see here under mouse, keyboard and pen. So you can use this for emulators, Steam, or you can try it on other things if you like. But I'm going to use it on Steam. So, in Steam, you've got to go to big picture mode. Whoa! That was glorious. <laughs> go to settings and then controller settings. You want to turn on Xbox configuration support. I've already done that. And you can choose the controller shutdown time here. And here's the controller labelled. You can change the name of it if you like. So back. There's only one thing left to do guys. And that is to test the controller. I want to exit big picture mode though. And then just go to my Steam's games. Let's play some Rocket League. Did I press it? Yes. Okay, it needs to install something. I think it's ready. There we go. We're ready to play some Rocket League. Let's zoom out. Alright. Press any button to start. There we go. See the controls are working. Maybe I'll turn it down a little bit. Alright. Let's go to exhibition. So the D-pad's working. I can scroll through. Oh, the control stick is working. So, let's do exhibition. Uh, one versus one, random, yeah. I want to be the blue team. Alright. So here, you can see that the trigger is working. Boom! First touch. Whoa! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wait, I've done a match where it's me versus no one. <laughs> but I'm just showing you the controls, so it's fine. So let's see what else. 
I think that's a jump button. Whoa! Jump and flip. <laughs> Alright, let's try. Whoa. So all the controls are working. I'm not very good at Rocket League. I need some practice. Boom! Ugh. Oh, the rumble is working very well. <laughs> So there you go guys, that is how you connect your Xbox One S controller to your PC or laptop. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this video, consider becoming a subscriber if you want more content like this. Thank you for watching, peace out. through